Anfield, one of the most storied venues anywhere in the football world. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Liverpool taking on Chelsea. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting 11. Alisson begins in goal. Joel Matty plays alongside Virgil van Dijk in central defence. Thiago starts alongside Fabinho in the centre of midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Kepa stands between the posts. Thiago Silva plays alongside Kalidou Koulibaly in central defence. Mateo Kovacic plays alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Number 26, Andrew Robertson. Number three, Underway here at Anfield. Fabinho. Now with Alexander Arnold. And Mount. Now let's see what they can do here. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Firing it in. A routine save. Thiago. Poor pass. Explosive attacking qualities can be so important. Look no further than Mo Salah. I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past defenders, he's got that ability to run with the ball into open space. He can pick out a pass, he can wriggle out of tight situations. He's the most creative player on the field today. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, clattered away. Havertz, can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer, and you have to say it was on the cards. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. Then it's a top class strike from Sterling. His technique is absolutely spot on. Just look at the power he generates here. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? And the referee says play on advantage Liverpool. Salah. Harvey Elliott. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Mount. Excellent vision. And Pulisic has it. And a poor ball, and easy for the keeper. Harvey Elliott. Well, couldn't keep it.
Harvey Elliott. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Chance to do damage. I think most defenders would expect to be booked halting an attack in that fashion. Well, the referee not messing about. He's cautioned him. Well, it had to be a yellow card, and he knew it was coming. Delivered into the box. Taking care of business defensively here. Mount. On to Sterling. Oh, the goalkeeper did well to hang on to that one. Gakpo. Darwin Nunez. A chance to whip it in. Not the easiest of situations for the keeper. Jorginho. Sterling has it. Great ball from Raheem Sterling. And that is how to block. That is how to put in a challenge. He's been a bit unlucky to concede the corner. Who can they pick out? And it's gone in here! Just what Chelsea fans wanted to see. Their lead extended to two goals. Well, here it is again. It's a well-delivered ball into the box, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. And the ball is moving again. Nicely timed tackle. Mo Salah. And on to Alexander Arnold. Fabinho. Salah. The Chelsea move still flowing. Advantage to them. And we are going to have two additional minutes. And unable to keep possession. Now, what can they produce on the flank? And fed forwards. And that brings to an end the first half here at Anfield. All in all, a struggle for Mohamed Salah to make his presence felt today, Stuart. Yeah, you're right. He needs to impose himself on this game. He just hasn't done enough to get away from his marker so far. Unless that changes, they're going to struggle to turn this one around. Underway here at Anfield. Havertz. Can he put them in front? Yes, is the emphatic. Well, the ball is rolling again and no getting away from it. Delightful stuff served up by Chelsea in the first half. Will we see a similar pattern in the second 45? Santiago lost custody of it. 
Kovacic. Can he take the chance? Oh, fine stop. Nunez. Now can they make something happen? A disappointing end to the move. Thiago. He'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. Kai Havertz. And Pulisic has it. Corner coming up. Let's see about the delivery. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. Havertz. Comfortable in dealing with the ball played in. Kovacic. Still alive. What a genuine opportunity. But it was squandered. Goal kick. And they're making a change. says play on advantage Liverpool and winning it back Mount James real chance and he's only gone and made it a hat-trick absolutely unplayable today what a performance well here's the replay and what a well-delivered cross this is perfectly placed and just look at that strike he opens up his body and makes a really clean contact with the ball a great finish So the action underway again, and it's turning into a trouncing with Chelsea holding all the aces. 20 minutes to go. Roberto Firmino. Really good interception. Thiago Gakpo Darwin Nunez Oh, a great chance it was Goalkeeper has it Well, this game is ebbing away and it's not exactly going according to the script as far as Liverpool are concerned Well, they just never got going People will point fingers towards the centre-backs and keeper and to be fair, they've been poor No doubt about that but they haven't had much protection. There's been so much space for their opponents to operate in, and they've had a field day. The final whistle can't come soon enough. Alexander-Arnold. Oh, how on earth has he missed that? What a glorious opportunity. Well, the flag's gone up, and he was offside, but he didn't know that when he took his shot. Number 14, Jordan Henderson. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Liverpool have it once again. Firmino. It might be on for them. A 
Weighted ball from Aubameyang. Sterling. Kovacic. And now with Pulisic. And Chelsea have given it away. And really closing him down here. The sound of the referee's whistle and the headline here, Liverpool lose. Your assessment of the performance? It was the nature of the performance more than anything else. They never got out of second gear and were completely dominated all over the park. Tell you what though, I wouldn't want to be in that dressing room right now.